do you do when you want to boost your mood? Oh, when I want to boost my mood, <laughs> what do I have do? a good laugh. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's a great way. I can might just try and make myself a cup of tea or something. Cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> cup of tea, love. <laughs> <laughs> cup of tea yeah i mean i don't know go outside usually helps <laughs> hello and welcome to get real with, with the, the english, english sisters. sisters as you guessed by the intro it's yep. how to boost your endorphins today quick and easy fast, fast and quick and quick so you say a cup of tea, that's not what they recommend though, is it? Well, it yes. isn't, but somehow, <laughs> you know, whenever I sort of do want to kind of feel better or something, I will put the kettle on. Does it put you in a good mood though? It does, uh, actually in a good, good mood. mood. Probably, um, I don't know, is, is that like self-soothing kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, I like, think it's like comforting more than a booster for endorphins. I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when I really, I mean, this is a bit tricky, really, because I haven't really thought about it that much. You haven't. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not really. You're putting me on the spot well, here. Well, the three easy ways, as everyone knows, are... Oh, well... Smiling? Yes. Yes, we know that. Taking a brisk walk? Taking a brisk walk and listening to music. To music. Yeah, so there you go. Those are the three easy ways, but then, of course, it's very personal, isn't it? Yeah, I might not immediately thinking about putting, you know, be actually thinking, oh, I'm going to put a good song on now. But I think I used to before more. Yeah. Mm. Maybe you don't need to boost them so much now because no. you've always got them. Maybe, yeah. I can sort of <laughs> readily, I've got quite a little harvest going, as yeah. you were saying before, you know. You can yeah. harvest them. You've got a nice little store of them I've ready. got quite a nice little store, yeah, that I can go and access <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, it's like a little shop. Go and buy some endorphins. No, but, yes, it, it, um... For those of you who may not know what endorphins are, they're the feel-good chemistries, aren't they? The chemistry, good chemistry. yeah. The, yeah it's, the feel-good hormones. It is, yes. It's the feel-good hormones that do come after, like, exercise, physical exercise, eating a good meal, having sex, if you liked it, obviously. Uh, or any kind of intimacy, really, cuddling, kissing, or just, just, just like, even you know, with your pets, stroking an animal, mm. that they actually, you know, stroking pet therapy, pets. yeah, stretch them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> stroking your pets is always a good one isn't it it is yeah they also say that when you look at like funny little um things online they make you laugh don't they you were laughing this morning when you looked at one well yeah comedy, like those little it? instagram yeah, things like that you just scroll yeah 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 they can make they can boost but i think that's really is just it lasts literally one second yeah but it still makes you laugh sometimes, it still makes you it? laugh yeah yeah that is a, quite a good but do you think it puts you in a bit of a rotten mood afterwards when you have to go back to work? Or do you think it actually works? That's what I mean. I don't think it lasts. No, I don't think it actually works. Because you might find a funny meme or something, some little <laughs> funny joke and you're laughing about it then and there. It makes you smile. But then I think once you come away from away from it, that's why it's like yeah, causes screen. dependence, you know, mm. like a, a kind of an addiction, isn't it? To this continuous scrolling and looking for little cute pets or things that make you smile. Mm. But then I think if you've got a nice photo as well of your own pet, you have a look at it quickly. What like uh, like on your screen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, if you're at work. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that'll put you in a good mood. <laughs> well, that's why traditionally people would have their pets on uh, their and pets. their family members. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Do they have pet pictures on their desks? <laughs> <laughs> Normally. You can see us laughing if you're watching us on <laughs> YouTube as we also record this podcast getting even weirder now no i do think of people they have, have pictures yeah. of their pets why yeah of course they have their pet cats and dogs and snakes or whatever whoever has whatever do you think they have a picture of their pet snake <laughs> i don't know maybe uh, 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 well if it's a shared office space 
I don't know how that would People boost others' freak. endorphins. That might be all right for you if you're a snake lover, but we other people... We do work with phobias, don't we? Well, snake phobias. We do work with snake <laughs> phobias, yes. So, I mean... I mean, it's no laughing matter if you no. do have a phobia, obviously. Obviously it's not. We're just having a bit of a laugh we're having, we're having a bit of a joke, yeah. yeah. We're, we're boosting our own endorphins because we we've, we've been, been laughing, laughing a, lot. a lot, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> laughing actually is one of the best. Actually, if you stare into people's eyes, it can boost your endorphins as well. Especially that people is that true. you know. Well, obviously. And you not, trust. You're not going to go around being a starer and staring <laughs> at other people because that can make, you know, you get really creepy vibes and people think, what are you doing? Unless you've asked for their specific permission, permission and you're doing yeah. some kind of a <laughs> staring game or whatever. Staring know. game, that'd be fun. <laughs> not for two <laughs> hypnotists to stare into each other's eyes. <laughs> We know we we're, we're going down the rabbit fun. hole. <laughs> the thing about us two is that obviously we are hypnotherapists and we do hypnosis. So if we do look into each other's <laughs> eyes, it will bring about this a deep trance. Well, yes, and we're not having a deep trance now, <laughs> are we? We no. know it makes you feel no, good. It's a little podcast. Yes. So that's a different situation, isn't it? What about taking a deep breath? Actually oxygenating. Yes, that's always good, taking a deep breath. And I say, if you can, you know, just as a quick and easy fix, just open the window or go outside, even if it's cold outside. Well, I think if it's cold, you come back in, you'll be happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'll boost your endorphins when you get back into the lovely warm. That ah. used to happen a lot when we lived in England. It did, it? In yes, the UK. it did. <laughs> I mean, with the changing of seasons, it always automatically happens. It's always lovely to mm, end. Not as much here because it's usually quite pleasant when we decide to go out here. Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. Mm. And if it isn't, we, we drive You're somewhere. You're happy to be cosy in the back country, into the we? fire, aren't Back you? into the fire, yeah. Well, I'm not into <laughs> the fire. <laughs> <laughs> into the, the the room where the Thanks fireplace the fire is yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness me well, we hope you're having a little laugh with us here because <laughs> uh i mean that's what it's they all do about, say that laughter is the best medicine of all yes they do but you know that even if you smile if you fake smile it makes you feel good yeah i know it's those um mm. those <laughs> Those, mirror neurons. Yeah, the mirror. No, well, that's if you see somebody else <laughs> smiling. You know, that's that's contagious too. But it's not. <laughs> it's not just the mirror neurons. It's also just even if you just do it by yourself. You know, like those um, the Buddhist monks that they they practice smiling from the first thing, like when they get up really early. You know, they just smile, even if they don't feel like smiling because it's cold and it's freezing out there on the mountains. But they smile and then it says it just really to boost uh, boost morale and boost their own inner confidence and their own inner happiness. And they've been confidence. doing... Well, yeah, because if you're smiling, it means everything's okay outside in the world. Everything's okay inside. Even if you're fake smiling, your body will kind of believe it in the end. Your brain will think, oh, those muscles are being activated. It's like a little hack, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. it's a hack it's a mind it's hack. it's a smiling hack yeah it's by smiling you're <laughs> hacking your brain into thinking oh i'm happy and if your brain starts thinking oh i'm happy then you're going to start producing endorphins and you know and it goes on and on so it's like a direct path then it's a direct path it's a cheeky way of getting directly <laughs> to what you want I do it sometimes, you know, when I get up and I think, oh, yuck. I, I catch myself thinking, oh, no, I've got the day when I've got things I do not want to do. Like it's an admin day or something. A no, like no day. A no, no day. Yeah, I think, oh, just yucky, yucky. <laughs> and then I might just catch myself and I'll say, no, let let me try what those little. What about on a, if on a no, no day you you think about like the holidays or something? Yeah, you can do that, but it takes a bit of effort, doesn't it? Whereas this is just literally just pretending to smile for like a few minutes while you're in the bathroom taking a shower or just getting it's prepping. Quicker, for... isn't it? It's kind of quicker, yeah. And then and also it could put you in a bad mood thinking about the holidays because you could be thinking, now I want to be there now. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. And thinking, oh, yuck, you know, yeah, I wish I was back there wherever you were. If, or I go. haven't had a holiday this year. Yeah. You know, who knows what little rant you could go on to. You so. could go on to a rant, couldn't Whereas you? Whereas if you just lift up the upper corners of your mouth, it's pretty simple. There's nothing to rant about there, is no, there? No, you, you put your tongue <laughs> on the top of the roof of your mouth and you lift. <laughs> it's also like a mini face lift, mm. isn't it? <laughs> And you lift and and then it, it you you at first you might feel really weird and think what the hell am I doing but then the more you go around with this you know you can go and make your morning coffee or have your morning drink whatever you have you can put some music on you like oh if you put the music on then it's double and double you whammy can dance. Uh, let's not exaggerate <laughs> yeah if you want to have a dance you could have a little dance party you get People... your body moving yeah you could you could if you've got enough time and you want you to be will. bothered you will <laughs> it's easy though isn't it we've it's all so got easy. our it's phones free, nowadays it? yeah free. just it's put... free i mean it's not it's not a big deal is it no it's not no turn a, just a three minute song on that's enough and a three minute smile and a three minute song and you there's we're not talking about meditation dusk. going deep into the meanders of your wild mind or what kind of, you know. <laughs> Meditation is hard, I think. For yes. most people. They Come find on. it a bit cumbersome. It is. It's a bit of an enigma, That's isn't it? That's why we like hypnosis, because it's direct. Yes, exactly. Especially yes. the conversational type. Yes, so exactly. You don't have to think about it a lot. The meditation's always been, oh God, now I have to empty my mind. And how do you empty it? You're not you, supposed to empty you're not, it. You just you allow the thoughts to flow them. through. Exactly. You but allow. Sometimes they can be like cumbersome thoughts. You might not appreciate no. that much. Just, just get around them, I'd mm. say. You know, just allow, just, just, just fake it till you make it. Fake it till you really are happy. <laughs> and what about that laughing yoga? That's always well, fun. Well, that, that's part of faking, isn't it? You're it in a group is, yeah. and normally and you're, you're doing exercise. And you're supposed to do exercise. it from the belly, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until it comes up. Now, you see, it's worked for you really quickly. It does work. It does, doesn't it? Try it. What, how do you do it? You have to touch it here. No, you just start, you breathe in and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I'm not as quick as you are. You know how you're doing it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Isn't it real? No, do it properly. <laughs> Are you sure that's how you're supposed to do it? It is. What, from the stomach? <laughs> Just start. <laughs> Louder? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not good. Well, I'm sure through. if you want to do it, you can look up a YouTube video that's more you know more expert than us well, I just, i'm just remembering it from but it works for me it does doesn't it, it? just that ha, ha 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 it's a bit and then you you you, 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 you feel you, it in your tummy if you're used to tummy breathing where you and your tummy actually comes out your belly actually pushes out if you can feel it in there it's a bit like those people that sing as well they they have it from further down yes that's always been rather fascinating to me how that actually works even though i kind of understand it's like it. this it's it's like huh. when we do hypnosis it's, isn't it huh. it's like do that huh. not so weak <laughs> oh right okay <laughs> Look, I didn't realise this was going to be a one-to-one -one yoga session on teaching me how to... I know how to laugh, don't you? She's enjoying putting me on the spot here. I can see where this is going. I'm not particularly not even laughing. There you go. She's doing it now. It works. Yes, well, no, okay, okay, I admit, yeah. It's pretty embarrassing. It didn't work. I think I'd be embarrassed more Did than you, other. You're supposed to do it in a in a session where everyone else is doing. It. Otherwise, exactly. in the privacy of your own home. Yes, yes, obviously. It's not yeah. supposed to be like. I know just, this just, has been recorded. Yes, but this it's is not really embarrassing. It's just laughing. No, no, it's not. 
But I mean, the fake and real laughter. The fake. But faking the laughter seems feels weird, you know. Yeah, but, it does feel. Whereas weird. to me, faking the smile, like what I said before. But people could think that's really weird. Definitely, not they, just because you're used cause to it. Because I'm used to it. Because I've been doing it for years. Yeah. You know, yeah. well, I'm not. I don't do it all the time, for goodness' sake. But if I find I'm feeling grumpy, I might just say, "Oh yeah, just do that." Mm. It's just like a really fast little hack. It's also because people around you, if they see you smiling, they won't be grumpy either. Oh, no, they immediately change. Yeah, do you remember when we did it when our kids were little? Goodness when we first me. learned about God, it. it what a difference. Because I think you don't realise it how much kids actually look at your face know, and your facial there. expressions so much to learn, mm. to understand. To, so when if you're like, if you're feeling tired or ratty or something... They just pick it all up. Mm. They absorb all that stress, don't they? And it's okay for them to understand that you're feeling ratty, but you know, it's just it's be, it's probably best to say, "Oh, I'm feeling really tired now." But them for them not to actually just see that all that stress in your face. Yeah, because it comes out. Doesn't it comes it, out, and it stresses the little ones as mm. well. They, they sometimes they don't even know how to deal with it really. Mm. Because it's overwhelming for them, uh, because they're always looking to the, their caretakers to be the ones to provide safety. So if the caretaker's not looking like they're safe or they're uneasy about something, then obviously it reflects onto how the child is going to feel, and and they're going to feel uneasy too, and like in this fight yeah, or flight exactly. mode, and they can't yeah. sleep and they can't eat. So there's a whole series of problems. Anyway, yes. So basic hack as well is to just put your tongue. Yeah, we're actually doing it now. It's, it's just, actually very peaceful. Especially if you take a deep breath along with it. It is very peaceful, yes. It's, um, I wonder if you've got any hacks. What do you do to feel good? Yeah, feel to good. To get instant endorphins. Yes, yes. What do you do? You've been grilling me. But, I mean, I don't I know do what that. you do. I just dance a bit. You dance. That is a lie. <laughs> I was dancing yesterday with my, when I yesterday, did my fitness. once. <laughs> this isn't your normal. Now, now tell the truth. This is get real. You do not go around dancing when you want to feel good. I mean, I've told you the truth. I said I put a cup of tea on. And then you said that's not good enough because it's not enough. And no, I mean, I, I said it's a comfort. All <laughs> right. I said it's a, Why do this smiling thing that I've learned? You do that. I go for a walk. I, I, do, I, do, gardening. You do, I do gardening. Oh, gardening. I do gardening. I go in the garden it. if yes, I can. You go in the garden. I yeah. like the garden. Yeah. That puts me in a good mood instantly. To touch like nature mm. and be in contact mm. with the earth. But also fitness now. Fitness Let now is big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since the pandemic, yeah, the pandemic has brought upon the fitness. The walking, yeah, that's that's you know. So if you want so to I feel good, feel good, yeah. Like if I feel a bit stressed or feeling a bit worried about something, I'll go and do like my your walk, my walk, or you go on the go treadmill. On the treadmill or walk I can't in. walk in the outside in nature. Walk. And nature around your area can be a bit tricky, can't it? With all those and wild there's, there's animals a lot of around. Dogs and boars. Yeah, the boars. I mean, more than we the dogs. had a friend come over <laughs> recently. Friend of the of our daughter, and she she well, she did believe, but she didn't take it that seriously. No. We said it was getting towards dusk, and we said there's boars around here, wild pigs <laughs> with their families. It sounds they like make a, a hell of a noise, noise and they're yeah. wild. They're actually wild, so they go around, and they can be dangerous if they have they the, their little ones. If they're on their own, if it's a male one, they can the male charge. One can get chargey, yeah. Beware. And so I told her and she just laughed and she said, no, I'm used to, she was living in Ireland at the minute, she said, I'm used to a lot of the countryside and everything, mm. blah, 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 she didn't say that, but I could see that she meant that. And then she <laughs> went on the walk and then she came back, how was your walk? Fine, fine, yeah, lovely, lovely. Then when we <laughs> had dinner later on, she <laughs> confessed, she, the other <laughs> side of the table, she said, I did see a wild boar peeking out. <laughs> Ah. out of the fence and I started walking quick mm. yeah. so it can be a bit tricky it around our be, area yeah, yeah. that can stop you smiling well you Even had the donkey as well you said with the goat we story, had the donkey yeah. and the goat we <laughs> thought was really sweet sweet yeah we were all innocent thinking oh that's a cute little we'd write a little book about it yeah true <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it turned out to be a rather aggressive story, wasn't it? The donkey. It wasn't. And the... It was a donkey and. Uh... And was it like a little? <laughs> <laughs> it this was is... a donkey. And it ended up to be a ram. Oh yes, it and was a donkey and a ram. One day we saw the ram was. <laughs> yeah. Was interfering with a donkey. Interfering. <laughs> It was mating with the donkey. <laughs> this is PG. Oh, this is PG. Well, look, I mean, this is the animal kingdom. Animal kingdom. Come yeah. on. It's just... <laughs> it's nature. It's nature. It's, it's unusual. It is unusual, yeah. yeah. It's not the kind of thing no. you want to write in a children's no, book. No, no. That's for sure. Yeah. It was an unusual and so thing. So that's, anyway. that's why the ram was protecting the donkey so much. That's so weird. But it yeah. would be aggressive. It would charge it. I know. So when you wanted to go running or walking I around that be area, careful. Yeah. go around the Watch fence. out for the oh, ram. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's like those stories. Well, it's like Billy Goat Gruff, isn't it? Goodness I don't know who ever heard of it, of the underneath. <laughs> underneath what, when it. you tried to cross the bridge? Yeah, we yeah. tried to cross <laughs> There was a billy goat gruff on the top of the bridge. It wouldn't let you pass. It was yeah, a yeah. story. And yeah. then underneath, I can't remember exactly what happened. I think you would have to pay a fine <laughs> to get across the bridge. Anyway, this is going down a that big rolling story. It's different. It's a different we've thing. We've had a good laugh, though, haven't we? We've had a good laugh, yeah. We hope you've had a good laugh because, you know, seeing the comedial side and the funny side of things of is life well of life in general so if you do feel you know that that's a great way to boost your endorphins too just suddenly think well how would a comedian tell the story of what happened to me today <laughs> like okay so you missed the train yeah. then your umbrella got lost and then this you know it's it could sound really funny as well you know whatever you do you know what I mean? There's always that the funny, no, the funny narration to your day. Yeah, they used to say, how will you look at, upon this? You know, what happened to you today? Will you still remember it in 10 years time? Will you, will you have a good story to tell, you know, to your friends, mm. your family? Mm. So that's also quite, most of the things, if they're not that eventful, you probably won't remember them in 10 years time. No. I mean, the, the, the ram and the donkey, we'll always we're remember. always... <laughs> was a bit traumatic <laughs> that will be remembered because we were so innocent and like cute oh walking in the countryside and then yeah, but a day after yikes. day the, the ram protecting the donkey yes i think we were thinking they were the best of friends. friends exactly <laughs> that's why it was funny yeah yeah I mean, we didn't think the ram wanted to have its way with the donkey. No, and then your husband as well, when he goes on those walks on his own, when he yeah. saw the man on top of the car. Because the wild boars had yeah, chased that, him. That. He was covered in blood. <laughs> the Gosh, man. The man was covered in yeah. blood. Because you'd had to jump over a barbed wire face, uh, goodness, fence goodness. To, to, get, to get away from the wild boars chasing him. Goodness me. And he was saying, careful, careful. To, to my husband. I forgot about yeah. that. Careful, yeah, that careful. he saw him on, uh, on the top of his yeah, car. Yeah, he was actually on top of his car. Goodness on me. On the actual top, on the roof. Yeah, yeah. Protecting himself. Well, I and mean. he was covered in blood. Yeah, covered in blood. I mean, really? he has lots of scratches. Lots these. of yeah. scratches from the fence. From the fence, not the boards, because he managed to get away from them. God, but it was just pretty as well. hairy. It so. was a hairy situation indeed. Mm. So now, I mean, at the time, that would have been really terrible. I mean, did you have to call an ambulance and say, no, it wasn't that bad and that. But now it's, it sounds it's, quite funny. It does sound quite you know, funny. The, you can see it like You can a, see the comedy side of it. You can see it in a film, you know, this man, la, 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 and then having to ramp and jump over the fence, yeah. You can see the funny side of it, yeah, along with the tragic, yeah. <laughs> humorous, I mean, not humorous, the awful no. side of it as well. But anyway, yeah, it, it's like here where we are in Europe, you don't really expect. No, it's not like if you live in America, there's wild bears yeah. everywhere. Yeah, you like hear that. these stories like that. you go camping. The, on the continent in Africa, there's yeah. snakes yeah. and Australia, Australia. very dangerous yeah. animals. Yeah, but here, like, okay, you might have a little scorpion here and there in Italy. or a... Yeah, but they're not that dangerous. They're not that things, dangerous. They? They're not the poisonous bite, ones, but it's... are they? No. Not well, really. not a tiny poison. They've got... Those snakes, the levipere, what are they called? Those are poisonous. They're, we know that they're dangerous. Vipers. Vipers, yes. They are. You know, it's not probably... You have to be careful. You have to be careful of them. If you're going for a country walk in the middle of the summer, it's best to take a little 
stick. Oh, a little stick to ward them off. But well, that really so they can hear the noise. Well, so they escape, yeah, yeah just so they not... so they run off because they're scared of people. Because they're scared, yeah. Well, they're... I mean, they don't run off. They, <laughs> they slither off <laughs> to the wilderness. They go and off they go. Oh, well. Look, and um, we'd love to hear what you have to say about yeah. what makes you feel good. And yeah. if you haven't tried these hacks, I'm sure yeah. you have. But you, maybe the smiley one you haven't tried. Maybe the smiley one you haven't. You probably know about walking. the music, yeah, because that's, I think a lot of people do that. Mm. And boost your endorphins today and keep a nice store of them so you can harvest them whenever you want. Yeah, you, you keep like little um, seeds of them, little memories for you to have a little laugh upon. Mm. Good feelings or, yeah, not just a so laugh, feel just great. feel good. Yeah, it doesn't have feel to be. good. doesn't have to be just laughing. You feel, feel good, good in many feel ways. Great. Yeah. Lots of love and smiles <sighs> from the English, English sisters. sisters. Bye. Please oh. come and watch us on YouTube too. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And please share it with your friends as well as it helps us grow. It helps us grow. Join our family. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.